Welcome. Let's look at how we can run Microsoft Defender offline scan. This type of scan is done in a rare situation where we suspect a PC has been compromised by a malware, but the antivirus and malware scans could not detect it, or a malware has been detected by Windows Defender or some other third-party software, but could not be removed while the Windows 11 operating system is still running. Basically, you do not need to perform this type of scan unless you have concerns about the integrity of your operating system. To run this scan, you must have administrative privileges either through local administrator account or domain administrator account. Let's see how we can run the scan. First, click on the Start menu. Select Settings. In the Settings window, on the left-hand side, select Privacy and Security. Under Security, you will see the option called Windows Security. At the very top, click on Windows Security. In the Windows Security, you will see the option to open Windows Security panel, which is called Open Windows Security. Click on that button, and it will open the Windows Security software or panel. You can also get here by simply going to Start menu and typing Windows Security and clicking on the first option it gives you in the search. In here on the left hand side, click on the option called Virus and Threat Protection. And under this quick scan, you will see the link to scan options. Click on that and you'll see four radio buttons. And one of them will say Microsoft Defender Offline Scan. And it will also give you a description of what it does. And it will also tell you that this will restart your device and it will take about 15 minutes. That is because this particular scan needed to be done while the operating system is not running so that it can scan all the files, including operating system internal files. Select that option and click Scan Now. And it'll give you a warning saying, make sure you save your work or whatever the open files you have. And if you ha have done that already, click Scan. And it will give you the Windows Security Account Control or User Account Control UAC window. As long as you are the administrator for this particular computer or the domain administrator, you should be able to press yes. And it will sign you out and reboot your computer. And after the reboot, you will be greeted with the security scan process. Finally, once it's loaded, you will greet it with this Microsoft Defender antivirus uh, screen. And it'll show you the percentage of uh, scans that been done. And again, it might take a little while. And so be patient and let it do its work. Once the scan has been done, you will reboot back into your operating system. I have dual boot set up. That's why you see Windows 10 and Windows 11. Uh, you will not get this screen unless you have the dual boot. Uh, if you would like to know how to do the dual boot setup with both operating system on the same computer, I have a video on my YouTube channel. You can check that out. So for now, we're gonna log into the Windows 11 by clicking on that option.
and then you can log in. Once you are logged in, if there is an issue, it should flag you. But if you want to know details or in case the flag didn't work, uh, what you can do is you can go to start and then you can type uh, Windows uh, security or you can go through the settings as I've shown before. And on the Windows security, go back to virus and threat protection and under the quick scan, there's another link called protection history. Click on that and it will give you any warnings that they found during that scan. In my case, they didn't find anything. These are just other items uh, appearing. You might not have these items showing up or you might. So it depending on your uh, situation. But if there was a problem, it should actually flag you. But if it doesn't flag, you can go into the Windows security app, go to virus protection, under the quick scan, click on protection history, and you will see that option, of whatever the information the scan found. And that's everything, and have a nice day.